So here we are at the Crucible Theatre. A lot of talk today about the size of the pockets on these tables. Let me assure you, there are only three sets of templates in the world. We're here in the arena to just show you how small they really are. So with us right now, we've got Chris Barnes from World Snooker Services. So just to make this official, we have the templates with us and we're going to take a look. Chris, show us what you do. Right, with the templates, we always start off with the middle pockets. So first of all, we set the uh, steels up after the bed's on and then you start off by getting the middle right so you make sure that is they're not pinchy they sit straight in nice and flush no movement the rubber stays equal all the way along and once you get that right you then move on to the full template which governs which way the steels can go and you make sure that sits in nice and it sits in nice under the rubber and you can run your finger along and just make sure that the fall is perfectly in line uh, with where it should be, as it is on every single table we do. And onto the corners? We've marked where they are roughly, so you give yourself a starting point. And then it's all about making sure that they fit in nice and snug and that every corner is the same, has the same pressure point and the templates fit in the same in every single pocket. Once that's done, we again check the falls on the corners and again, you can push it in, sits nicely under the rubber, so you can check the rubber height at the same time. And again, the falls are all the same all the way around the table. Yeah, and just, just for clarity there, Chris, the fall of the slate is absolutely critical for these tables. Uh, for most of those at home, uh, when the ball comes towards the corner of the pocket, the fall of the slate, the cut off of where the slate ends and where the pocket begins is much further into the table. What we've got on these tables is a very sharp end all the way into the, into the pocket. So as the ball travels along the cushion, it has to go right inside the pocket before it drops. Well, these are the official templates. They are signed by tournament director and head of our table operations at World Snooker Services, Pete Godwin. Uh, interestingly enough, our tournament director here, Martin Clark, a former top 16 player. One other thing to remember on the championship table is that inside the cushion is made from a steel block. So the steel is bolted directly to the slate. Chris, tell me effects of that, what it actually does on these tables. Well, it just gives you a lot more consistent bounce to what you get in, the, in, in a club where it's, it's, it's made of wood and it absorbs more, whereas a steel is a completely separate entity to the outside. This, is, this has no effect on what is going on with the cushion. So, and it's got uh, six bolts equally apart and you, they're all uh, torqued up to exactly the same torque, every bolt, and it's just a, about giving a consistent bounce across the whole table. And just to, just to make that, um, just for clarity, yeah. um, what that does, if the ball goes towards the pocket and it's not exactly in the pocket, it bounces and throws the ball out. And this is something that's very different to many club tables. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, also, with many steel blocks and championship tables, there is no undercut on the rubber. And uh, in a club, you will find on many tables, from about here, the, there is actually a cut up into the rubber and then along. And what that does is the ball entry point is hit a, hot, a lot higher on the ball and it will force the ball down into the pocket. Whereas on these tables, there is no cut at all. The profile of the rubber follows all the way around. So more than likely the ball will hit and it will just rattle and come back out. And that is the main difference. The viewer from home will always see a television view from here, from behind the pocket. Now what that means is as the ball travels towards the pocket, if it just touches the inside, you think it's missed and it falls in. What, you're actually, what the player is actually seeing is the view from here. Take a look at how difficult these shots really are.